All right, so now we're going to look at the polygon primitives a little bit differently. So, in this chapter, in this chapter alone, you're allowed to use triangles. Anything outside this chapter, you're not allowed to use triangles anymore. Okay? So that's just a disclaimer from the last video that, you know, quads are good, triangles are bad, because later on they don't port well to other programs. So I want you to get down to the workflow of things. But I want you to get used to Maya and spatially moving around also. So we're going to use the polygon primitives, but I want to show you how to um, add more edge loops to them so you can change the shape and makeup. So if I take this polygon primitive box, notice it has an input node. And in here, I can click and drag and middle mouse button click and drag and it will add edge loops into every X, Y, and Z coordinate. Okay. Same goes if I just want to add them in X, add them in Y, or add them in Z, I could do that also. I can also go over here, middle or in click and drag and then type in 4 on the keyboard and it'll do it all at the same time also. So get used to the fact that you can insert edge loops and they're called edge loops because they go all the way around the device and then connect back. And after you add edge loops we can manipulate the shape using the vertices. So right now this is perfectly uniformed. All the polygons are the same shape. Okay, when I go like this, this is a non-uniformed mesh, meaning that this is the right shape, then it starts getting into this, and then lastly, this one right here is horrible. Okay, so we refer this also to topology. Okay, this topology of the object does not yield good results. So what we have to do here is kind of move these around a little bit so the topology actually makes sense. I would say right there is a lot better topology because these are not all stretched out. So that's what I want you to, uh, to abide by in this chapter especially is the fact that you have polygon primitives now with more vertices and when I go to make a shape which you're going to be making shapes here shortly. Uh, don't stress out your polygons. Don't don't do one of these numbers. It's better to have something like this. All right. Also, note that you can go from your side and front very easily, and I can take and scale these all at once, and it produces a semi-organic shape. If you hit 3 on the keyboard, you're going to find that that organic shape even looks smoother. I like to show 3 on the keyboard because students that will see well, if, if you have stretched out polygons that are very stressed out, let's say I, I stress out some polygons here. I'll go like that. Because new students love to do that. Three on the keyboard. You're going to find out that you're going to be able to see the uniformity of the mesh a lot easier sometimes. Because I have this square but all of a sudden I get this odd shape. Well, if it's this bad in three, one is definitely going to be bad. So I, I can also tell you that in three on the keyboard, you can also go into the vertices and move them around. And sometimes by straightening them out in three, you're going to find pretty good results back at one. So get kind of used to be able to switch between one and three a lot. Sometimes you can yield really good results by switching back and forth. As you can see here, somewhat okay. Still need some uh, additional either point edges or some more tweaking going on. 
So that leads me to the last topic of this video. What happens if I insert edges after the fact of manipulation? Well, this is what happens. Uh, death to the polygon. Okay, so just know that once you add your edges, it's pretty much end game as far as the input node goes. Also, if I duplicate this using Command D, you'll find that the duplicate does not have an input node. That stands true for all polygon primitives. If you ever want to get rid of an input node, it's just edit, delete by type, history. So now neither one of these have input nodes. Input nodes are very costly for memory. So keep that in mind later on down the road. Okay, so please move on to the next video where I can explain some more.